What I want my people so Mr. Vegas, the Edzai artist, go toe to toe with Pastor Gino Jenkins people, where they got into a debate where he got thrown out of the church by according to him somewhere just um testosterone, highly testosterone men and some more police officer according to him. You know what I mean? We have the interview where he must say a bag of things, people, to Winfred Williams. We're gonna take a look and come back. Supposed so to have been a debate between dancehall artist Mr. Vegas yeah, the Black Panther. and the controversial pastor Gino Jennings. You are lying of hell. Right. My God, something's common sense. A righteous woman right. laying naked. At the YMCA in Kingston on Sunday afternoon. The debate was formed by comments made by the American pastor last December about church women attire. Toenails painted with little fake diamonds in it. Your hey. toes ain't richer. You're nothing but a prostitute. The debate got ugly when Mr. Vegas demanded that the viral video be played for the pack congregation. Play the tape. Play the tape. I'm already here. Sit him. I'm already here. But the fiery pastor would not have anyone giving instructions in his congregation. So what was this event? Well, I thought the event was going to be about um, a discussion mm -hmm. that um, Gina Jennings wanted to have with me about some things that he said about um, women in the church. That church hoes? That's what you are, you are a bunch of church hoes! That was the understanding I, I got from the um, induced invitation. Okay, so it, was, it would have been a discussion with an audience. Was it church or was it a conference? What was it? Well, I later found out that it was a convention mm -hmm. um, for his body, of, his body, yes. um, meaning his church. So um, members were there, yes, were present. Yes, so mm -hmm. when I heard it was now a convention, I thought it was going to be like churches of Jamaica. Okay. You understand, like the churches in Jamaica, different um, denominations. Mm -hmm. um, but however, it was just his church, which is first church. So how did you get on it in the first place? I knew about it after the fact. I, I heard about it via the, the, the Jamaica Star. Mm -hmm. They reached out to me for an interview. And I said, what are you talking about? They said, yes, you have a debate with Gino Jennings. And I was like, what? Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not even going to be in Jamaica. Um, so I, I got hold of the person, the contact person for Gino Jennings, and I wrote an email to the person. And um, no, the person actually sent me an email. Mm -hmm. I think the Star said, Mr. Vegas, don't know about it, so forth, so forth. And they found my email, I think, online. And they sent me an email. After the fact. But it was meant to formalize the, your appearance? I would think so. Okay. But, and, so, and you accepted? I wanted my lawyer to write them, mm -hmm. to remove uh, my likeness and image from the billboards and stuff like that. But after, you know, sleeping on it for 24 hours and remembering what Gina Jenny said about the women in the church mm -hmm. being prostitutes and whores for wearing makeup and hair and nail polish and all these things, I said, you know what? Maybe I need to go address this audience because I know how his church is set up. The men on one side, the women on one side. And I wanted to go there and challenge the women to think critical. Because you knew from the get-go that right. this would be about this issue. Right. Statements that right. he had made right. about right. women. Right. I was willing to go there and, 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 and say to his face that he's wrong. Why did they invite you, Vegas? Why you? What did you do to be invited? All right. Now that the situation unfolded, mm. I, I now know why. Because I've been very vocal for the past few months about my journey, about the indoctrination, about how they stole our identity, how they removed our consciousness and replaced it with their doctrine. And you mean you have been vocal in social right, media? Right, right. So a lot of people are seeing these things. So I am now like the Antichrist. So by any means, try to get him into a situation, try to drag him into a situation where you can basically kill the devil, quote-unquote, hire some security. So I went there. They said I was going to speak for 20 minutes. I said, okay. They said, oh, they wanted a back and forth with the Bible with Gina Jennings. I said to the guy, you're crazy. In a church... They can't go tell them people, they say, the things in the Bible is man make it up. Mm. They might go throw me up on my head. They have it recorded, right? So we agreed that, okay, I'm going to speak. Or I was on the understanding that I'm going to speak, then he would do his sermon. And after his sermon, if he plays the tape, then we could go biblical where I can show him that, listen, there are women in the Bible that God blessed who wore jewelry. There are women in the Bible that wore jewelry that saved Israel. Mm. There are places in the Bible that is saying, yo, it's not about what you wear. So if you're going to take, pick some scriptures to demonize or degrade women, then I'm going to call you out. And I'm going to prove to you with your Bible that it is not correct, whether biblically or morally. But you wanted to reference 
the statements he had made. I wanted to play the, the controversial statements. When he started lying that he did not say it, I said, play the tape. Because he wanted to, he wanted me to go in a back and forth, back and forth, and they turned my mic down so he could be, you know, pouring over me and all kind of stuff. So, and I realized what was going on. So I said, listen to me. With all due respect, you speak. And after when you finish, to when you're finished, I will answer your questions. So I was making my notes and stuff like that. But listen to me. The whole thing was basically set up to get me there. It appears you lost your cool. No, at no point. You didn't? You didn't? Well, yeah. you, were, you were calling out the man and You're calling him. You were calling the pastor mm -hmm. in front of it's his congregation. Go again. A liar. Mm -hmm. False prophet. Mm -hmm. Weren't you? After he did what? After? Well, I'm not so sure what he did. He but... called me a hypocrite. Oh, yes. He did call you a, Thank you. a hypocrite. Thank you. And you called him a liar. No, I said you are the hypocrite and you are a liar. Yes. And you are a deceiver. So isn't that losing cool? No. No. He's speaking the truth. Because I was the bigger person. Yes. In my opinion. Mm -hmm. I was the one who was walking away from him. And okay. he kept walking me down, hounding me all over the place. Mm -hmm. And his highly testosterone mm -hmm. leaders behind him, followers behind him, was cheering him on. And he was basically revving up the audience mm -hmm. to basically make his point. The guys in the front, they were like, Go ahead. Come off I stage. Go ahead. And I was like, sir, can I speak? Go back and watch it. I said, can I speak? I held my hand up like I was in class because I think of a YMCA is a, is a school, right? Yeah. So I was in class. I said, can I speak? And I was saying that for like forever. Yes, but it was after you, you called him Paul's prophet. Maybe that sting. That he decided that they should cut your mic. Maybe that sting, right? And escort you from the building. Maybe that sting. But in a debate, I would guess that it, when you're in a debate, Yes. And someone says something, you should prove why you're not a false prophet. How about, how about if you're a prophet? Mm -hmm. You would have known that this would not have happened. And you would not have invited me there. Because this is not a good look for the church, right? Mm -hmm. So if you're a real prophet, you would have already prophesied that, you know what? This is going to happen. We're not going to bring Vegas here. Mm -hmm. Because anyone think that this is good for the church, you need to get your head checked. Mm -hmm. Because when kids or young people see someone behaving in this manner, I can understand the fanatics. Because they are already lost. There's nothing that I or any conscious person can say, any spiritual person can say, that, they are gonna, that is going to change the minds of the fanatics. That this is not about religion. This is not about denomination. Denominations mean money. This is not about accepting what the slave master gave us any longer. This is about finding our spirituality. This is about what our ancestors were doing before they were taken into slavery. Were they running behind some religion that was created? Were they running around with a book? They were not. Because they got the book when they got so here. So people, as you can see, Mr. Vegas is saying a lot of stuff. You know what I mean? He's saying stuff about Mr. Pastor Gino Gentin's character. I don't know nothing about this man other than I know that I heard over the news that he was coming to Jamaica and when he arrived, he was supposed to meet with Mr. Vegas. That's what the star said. You know what I mean? That's what I read months ago. And Mr. Vegas, according to what you hear him, I say, he wanted to decline at first. But people, if I know Mr. Vegas well, Mr. Vegas is a person that loved things like this. Mr. Vegas is an attention seeker. He's an attention whore. You know what I mean? That's why Mr. Vegas was, went into church trying to gain a different audience people i saw mr vegas doing this and i was the one who called him out i went on his facebook and i called him out i tell him that he's living a double life you know what i mean trying to act like he was a christian and i went on facebook and i called him out and i called him out on instagram and he blocked me so when he's acting like he's calling someone out i don't know how he's acting like he's this big bad bold person and he's the first one that start living the double standard. Even though he's saying some a, a, a bag of things that it's, it's, it's perplexing to what he's saying. Like some interesting stuff. You know what I mean? About getting um, religion from wherever. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't subscribe to what he's saying. Because my subscription is to I, I, I have been. But... It's love is my religion. You know what I mean? Love is my religion. As Bob Marley said, I want love. So I don't know where he, what he's saying. 
But all me know, Mr. Vegas is one of the biggest hypocrites. So when he's running, calling up people out, he should call out himself because he ran from me and on Facebook. You should admit to it when you watch this video. I was the first one who called you out and you blocked me because you were trying to pretend like a Christian, doing your same dance on music. And I know that it was just a facade. You know what I mean? So admit to that before you run and call someone else out. Probably you and Gino Jenkins should go and call other people out that's trying to pretend like you're so righteous. You know what I mean? But people want to hear your guys' opinion. Even though he's saying a bunch of stuff that's really perplexing and interesting, I'm, he's, he's not my friend. You know what I mean? Because he's a double standard guy just to see him. So I don't know how he's trying to appear righteous now. You know what I mean? But as we say, it's nothing personal. It's just... Dance all is my everything and I saw you Vegas. I saw you hiding behind Christianity and I call you out. Peace. I'm out. If she a clean up the whole of the neighborhood, then we know she's a hoe. If she a walk and a sell from hotel to hotel, we know she's a hoe. If she a one night stand, check everybody, man, man, I don't know that can we don't know. She's a hoe, she's a hoe. Ya hide again, cause everybody know she's a hoe, she's a hoe. Three or seven spot up on the terrace, swing a show. She's a hoe, she's a hoe. Ya hide again, cause Everybody know she's a hoe, she's a hoe. Ha, like a youth, them in the street, no. What she do, a boss bout how she gets slim and trim. Lose 20 pounds, then I go a gym. Legs easy, if you want my life, close him. Sleep with bim, bim, dead, and then don't know how we kill him. Girl, from you know you're not shooty, shooty. I don't know what's that. And the Jerry Springer show She's a hoe, she's a hoe You hide again cause everybody know She's a hoe, she's a hoe All of the youth, them in the street know What she do? Well, like she act like she a earthy angel Know something where them a do your head swell Man a line up at them gate cause them a sell Where them a move just me you could a tell Run through the map, them and the cartel so she sleep with my big house Tell the girl a report schedule Worst to see pill Who much man don't need a well She's a hoe, she's a hoe Ya hide again cause everybody know She's a hoe, she's a hoe Do you send me spot up on the Jerry Springer show She's a hoe, she's a hoe Ya hide again cause everybody know She's a hoe, she's a hoe All of the youth and men of the street know Take your mom or husband, then we know she's a hoe. If I can sleep with a best friend, man, then the whole of we know she's a hoe. If I can lazy, if he pluck every man, come walk, then we know she's a hoe. No, for them run out of luck, end up with stomach and all out the man, I mind the gut. She's a hoe, she's a hoe. Your hide again, cause everybody know she's a hoe, she's a hoe. Three of them is put up on the Jerry Springer show. She's a hoe, she's a hoe Ya hide again cause everybody know She's a hoe, she's a hoe All of the youth, them in the street know again She's a hoe, she's a hoe Ya hide again cause everybody know She's a hoe, she's a hoe So you send me see up on the Jerry Springer show She's a hoe